Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I wanted to show you guys something that I've been getting a lot of reports on. I just wanted to make sure I test it myself in GTA Online before I made a video on it. But naturally, Rockstar, they screwed up one major thing with the Oppressor Mark II in this casino update. For the last year since the Oppressor Mark II has been out and has been basically the number one griefing vehicle, a lot of people have been calling for it to get nerfed. Whether that was making it where you couldn't call it instantly through the interaction menu or where like the lock-on missiles just didn't work or I don't know, something. That's what people were hoping Rockstar would do. But no! <laughs> oh man. Rockstar... They actually buffed the Oppressor Mark II. Yes, they made it better somehow. So with this new update, a lot of people, especially on console, this is more for console players because PC players most of the time don't play with the auto aim on. But a lot of the console players were saying that no longer could they lock on to the Oppressor Mark II. And that is what Rockstar did. They made it so where... You can now no longer lock on to someone that's on the Oppressor Mark II. Here's what I mean. So you can see uh, from my friend here, I can lock onto him pretty easily when he's just standing still. I had to switch the aim settings to auto aim since I'm on PC, but it should all work the same on like all the consoles and everything. But you can see I'm, I'm pretty like you can aim pretty far away and it still locks on. And just to demonstrate, it worked on regular vehicles or regular bikes. He's on his baddie here. And again, I can basically just hit the left trigger and it auto locks on to his character. Okay. So that was what happened before. Basically, if someone was on an oppressor mark two and they were near you, you could hit the left trigger and shoot and it would hit them and you would kill them. And that's how a lot of people killed oppressor mark two people. They would use the revolver mark two, maybe with the incendiary bullets and basically left trigger, right trigger really quick. And it would basically kill the person on the Mark II if they didn't want to bust out the homie launcher or something else. Well, what ended up happening, and I, I doubt this was by design. Like, I'm pretty sure this was unintentional. At least I would hope it's unintentional. But now, when he's on the Oppressor Mark II and I hit left trigger, it does not lock onto his body. It does not, like, auto go to his body. It's very weird. And it does not matter which gun. I, you know, I can use the revolver here. And it's still, when I hit the left trigger, it does not lock on to his character. But if he gets off of the bike, you can see it starts to lock on again. But the second he gets on the bike, I can no longer lock on. Now... For those wondering, like homing launchers and stuff, that all still works. Like you can lock on with missiles, but I know a lot of console people actually did use the incendiary revolver Mark II way of killing these people because when you're on the ground, it's a lot harder for them to kill you. And a homing missile is never gonna kill these guys because the homing missile launchers just suck. But if they got close enough, you could whip out your revolver or really any gun and just and just hit them a few times and boom, they were dead. Now you can no longer do that. So I don't know, again, if this was intentional or not. If it was not intentional, I really hope Rockstar put out some sort of fix for this, but that's probably not gonna be the case because they really never put out fixes for things like this until the next update. So we might have to deal with this until probably December. Although it is kind of uh, just Rockstar's MO that they quickly put out a hot fix for the casino horse race betting to allow people not to be able to make money, yet they can't put out a hot fix for this. Let me know in the comment section if you've noticed this sort of same thing. A lot of console players were the ones sort of telling me about this because I've actually never been able to do this because I was playing free aim lobbies and you obviously the auto aim doesn't it's very very difficult to actually shoot someone off an oppressor mark II with free aim but this is something that definitely should not have happened because it only makes the oppressor mark twos even stronger now one other thing I did want to show you guys and this is just something I noticed while using the Stromberg. And this could have actually happened on some other armored vehicles. If anyone knows of any other armored vehicles that maybe this happened to, let me know. Let us all know down below. But they nerfed the Stromberg. The vehicle that like did not need to be nerfed. It was perfect the way it was. But now it actually takes less missiles to explode. 
You can see my friend shooting just regular oppressor mark two missiles at me and it takes, I believe, six, which is a lot. But I believe prior to this update, it took like eight or nine, which when a guy is spamming missiles at you, all of them add up. So having the three extra explosive resistance, that could be the difference between life or death. And the one I knew for a fact, it took three like RPGs or sticky bombs, like regular explosions or explosives to explode. Now it only takes two. My friend throws one sticky bomb, doesn't blow me up. He throws another one and we are toast. So again, I don't know if this was an intentional thing or not. I really hope it wasn't because there was no need for these things to be altered. But it does make me wonder what other things were changed that maybe we might not know about. Thank you all for watching. That is it with the video. Like the video, share it with Rockstar. Maybe they can do something to fix this so we don't have to wait until December. But on a completely unrelated note, I am doing another shark card giveaway. So if you guys want a chance to win $8 million, you can click the link in the description to enter my shark card giveaway. Thank you all. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.